This is Taking Stock on Bloomberg. I'm Pim Fox. Now, my next guest believes that the future of college textbooks could very well be all digital. Here for a CEO sit down is Ronald Dunn. He's the chief executive of Cengage Learning. Ron, good to have you with us on Bloomberg. Thank you very much, Pim. Nice now, to be here. Now, for those that don't know about Cengage and this whole world of digitizing of textbooks and also really of coursework, give me a little explanation about Cengage. How did it get to be Cengage? Because it used to be Thompson Learning. It did. Uh, first of all, we're the second largest publisher of, of college textbooks and other teaching and learning materials for higher education. And in addition to that, we're the largest publisher of high quality, authoritative reference and research information for libraries. Uh, we were formerly uh, part of Thompson, the Thompson Corporation, known as Thompson Learning. In July of 2007, we were bought by two private equity firms, Apex Partners and Omer's Private Equity in Canada, uh, and became a privately held company. So our name is new, uh, but the companies have actually been involved in, in these businesses for more than 50 years. Well, indeed, you were telling me that you've been in the publishing business for 38 years. 38 years last month. And surviving. <laughs> surviving very well, thank you. Well, explain a little bit about this transition for those that may not be familiar with how they would interact with some of the services or indeed some of the texts that you provide, because it's a digital world now. Yes, it's becoming a digital world, but in fact, Many of our, our customers still use print and still enjoy print and still want print. Uh, in fact, Student Monitor, which is a, a, an organization that surveys the buying behavior of students every semester, uh, in the spring semester found that 74% of students said they still would prefer a printed textbook to any of the digital alternatives that are currently available. Three quarters, almost three quarters. Three quarters of the students prefer print. Now, if you go and watch the way students actually use books uh, when they're studying, not, the, not when they're reading a novel, because that works very nicely digitally, but when they're studying, they're going back and forth, they're relating concepts that they studied some time ago to, to new material that they're seeing for the first time, and a book is still a really good tool for that kind of, of work. But increasingly, we're learning how to enrich and enhance the experience of teaching and learning using new digital technology that goes with the book. So for example, we can embed a homework solution in a textbook that allows a professor to assign homework in digital form. The student completes the work digitally, submits it online. It's automatically graded. The results are given instantaneously to both the student and the professor. The professor can then determine who's keeping up, who's falling behind, and intervene in a way that actually helps improve student engagement and student outcomes. Does this also uh, work? Is this also useful in a professional setting as well, when you have to come to deal with test taking and various coursework in order to maintain certain certifications? Yes, absolutely. Uh, all of the digital technologies work in all forms of learning, increasingly even down into the to the uh, K-12 area as well. Now, when you look at uh, what's happening with libraries and so on, are they still a great uh, sort of benefactors when it comes to uh, government, not government? money, but university money or grants in order to buy textbooks? Are they still, or are they starting to feel the pinch that they've got to move into a digital realm? Well, libraries have moved into the digital realm uh, aggressively for right. several years now. Uh, in fact, in our library business, two-thirds of our revenue comes from digital products, not print products. And there are many good reasons for that. If you think about a reference collection of information where there's a lot of data to be searched, it's much easier, much more efficient to do that online than it is to do it with a large collection of printed books. In addition to which, it saves libraries a tremendous amount of shelf space, uh, physical space in their facilities. So libraries have, have moved very quickly to digital, but libraries are not big purchasers of textbooks anyway. Textbooks, for the most part, still are purchased by individual students uh, on the recommendation of their professors. And is that a business that the publishers are looking to change? Do they see margins increasing if they went into the digital textbook or they happy with the way the business is right now? Well, the, the business is shifting from print to digital, but I think what we're going to see over the next five or ten years certainly is a, a wide range, a rich palette of services that range all the way from traditional print textbooks on one end to completely digital solutions on the other end, and in the middle, the bulk of this is going to be hybrid solutions that bl blend the best of, of print and 
digital. And Cengage Learning is in a particularly good position to, to enhance the way these things work because we can bring to bear that content that we create for libraries, which is authoritative, trusted information that's typically not used in the classroom, but we can bring it into the classroom to enrich the experience there. And as you say, you can have those complementary tests online as well as the actual real textbook in hand. I want exactly. to thank you very much. Ron Dunn coming to us as the chief executive of Cengage. Thank you. My thank pleasure. you for sharing your thoughts about the textbook and the learning industry.